uh, an announcement was given for people to come at a certain time to train to be a part of the Happy Warriors. The Happy Warriors are the premier, one of the premier um, workers, teams, uh, people, groups in the kingdom of God as far as I'm concerned. Yesterday, four babies <laughs> saved at the clinic, four. Four mothers, four. Four. Four babies saved. And those who are taping, let that be the introduction to my monologue because it leads to something. Now, Governor Northam of Virginia, let me say something because I don't want nobody to get confused. Okay, because I think a little different at times. He should be, he should resign. He should resign, um, and he should have resigned yesterday. Um, but I don't think that a 36-year-old picture of him in blackface is the first reason that he should re have resigned. I, I'm appalled at every elected Democrat official who is telling him to resign for that reason. I'm upset with the NAACP, NAACP for telling him to resign for that reason. I am taken aback by all the black folk who've been running their mouth telling him to resign for that reason. You know why? Two days before that came out, that same man, a pediatric doctor, endorsed and supported uh, um, the killing of a, not an unborn baby, infanticide, a born baby born and he said on tape I'll quote I'll tell you exactly how it works after the child is born we will keep the infant comfortable and the doctor and its mother and its family can decide whether or not it should live now you, which is worse which, I mean, now, I, I've already said, I think it should be removed. So don't, don't, don't waste time with that. I already, I already said his being in the yearbook with that picture is enough, in my opinion, for him to be removed. But when he described that wicked procedure, not one Democrat spoke against it. Not, not, you couldn't hear from the NAACP. And you're talking about not just, not just abortion now. But these, you, you know, you know, let me tell you what has happened. After the movie Gosnell came out and they showed how they got Kermit Gosnell, Kermit Gosnell was called the world's leading serial killer because Kermit Gosnell was killing babies even after they were born. So now, they're trying to change the law where after birth, if the parent don't, if the mother don't want the child, you can kill the child. God help us. I want to know, and uh, I want to know, I want to ask all, say, preacher, you, you're being political, but I can't, I, I have to. I want to know what did newborn and unborn and just now born babies due to these elected Democrat officials. Why do you have such a bloodlust and a bloodthirst for unborn and recently born human beings? And most of them people that they're talking about doing these procedures on look like you and me. What's wrong with us?
Not, not nary word of anger. Not one word of outrage. And the man described killing a child after it was born. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. To be here, to be here, mm -hmm. both legs don't have to be the same length. <laughs> to be here, yeah. you don't have to be born sighted. Yeah. To have the right to be here, you don't have to have all your limbs. Yeah. Human beings are human beings. Yeah. And this, this business of uh, sex selection, health selection, we're going to kill it because it might be something wrong with it. Well, there's something wrong with all of us. Every one of us have some kind of a problem. Now, if you don't think you have a problem, ask your neighbor. Your neighbor been sitting there thinking, what a weird person this is I'm sitting beside. Everybody's got something wrong with them. Everyone has some kind of the, uh, abnormality or deformity. We're trying to play God. That man, that man lied. Yeah, it was him, but that wasn't the worst of it. It was what he said two days prior. And uh, he sounds like that Ford lady. Now, she couldn't remember... Where she was, who took her home, how she got there, how many people was there, and everybody that she named who said it happened said it didn't happen. Now here's this man, he can't remember taking that picture, but he remember going to do a, a, a dance contest, and, and he put on blackface to pretend to be Michael Jackson. Well, everybody knows... If you want to pretend to be Michael Jackson, <laughs> you don't put on blackface. By the time old Michael left here, you got to put on white face. Now you know I'm telling the truth. That, that was racist and despicable is so. But nothing, no demonstration of racism in this country. No racist police officer, and all of them aren't racist, the most of, majority of them are not. No racist person. No racist racism that's revealed in any manner is as awful as the racism that is revealed in the abortion industry. No, nothing is killing black people like abortion. And we are targeted for extinction in by abortion. And every state, there's about five states now, uh, every state where they're trying to pass these laws, the reason why I mentioned Democrats, it's the Democrats who are pushing that. So I just, I, I want to know. I want to know what did the baby do? What did the babies do to you that caused you to, to go beyond, that's a, that's a t-shirt, to, to go beyond, first of all, in the first trimester, that's too much for me, but now up, you want to pass the law up to the time of birth, and then they use a vague term. Well, uh, for the health of the mother. Now, nobody asked them, what does health of the mother mean? Because, see, the way it's written is, she can just decide, I don't think I want to do this. I'm going through some problems. I'm having, I'm having second thoughts. Kill this baby for the health. Of the mother. So tomorrow when you go to work, when you go to the water cooler and you hear, hear, hear everybody talking about it, tell them, yeah, yeah, you're right. 
So I'm, he needs to be out. He needs to go. And, and what he did with that yearbook, that's what, a 36-year-old picture? Uh, all right. Uh, and, and the question you should ask yourself is how did he get elected the first time? Right. See, because first thing they do when you, get, when you announce, they check your yearbook now. Praise the Lord. So I tell some of you right now, don't run. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And it's not, his, it's not his high school yearbook. It's medical school. But you take the, this as an occasion to talk to them about what takes place almost 2,000 times a day in this country. 1,876 times on average per day a black child in this country is aborted. 4,000 nationwide. 8% of the population, our beautiful black women, represent almost 40% of the nation's abortions. In some cities like New York and other places, more black babies are aborted than are born. Genocide is taking place. And you out there upset about a picture in blackface that's 36 years old. I don't care about what he did 36 years ago. I want him to go for what he said two or three days ago. Amen. Enough of that. Now you have to admit, you, you know he's got to be rattled because to apologize for doing it one day they had to come back the next day and say, it wasn't me. <laughs> and then he said, take my word for it. <laughs> and at the, I laughed because he was, he was so rattled at the press conference that one of the members of the media asked him, well, can you still do the moonwalk? And the man, <laughs> the man started looking around to see how much space he had. And thank God for a good wife. She spoke up and said, uh, only when it's appropriate. Because I believe he was getting ready to stop. <laughs> now I said, now had he did that, <laughs> I'd still be somewhere <laughs> <laughs> laughing. But you know, when Northam was running for governor, there were areas in Tennessee. The media, I told you last Sunday you can't trust the media. There were areas in Tennessee when this man who got elected was running, he took the picture of his black lieutenant governor off of his campaign material. Now, had that been a Republican have done that, it would have been, it would have been all that MSNBC and CNN would have talked about, but they wouldn't tell you that. Now, what is that all about? So you need to know what's going on. God bless the happy warriors. Amen.